Hey there, collectives, and welcome back for a general reading. Whatever comes out is what it is. I greet you in snowy weather. It is currently, I believe, 15 degrees here in Arkansas, and it is raining snow. <clears throat> mm. So I'm trying to stay warm. I got my little my little warm clothes on. I got my, my thick socks on, and because when I say it's cold, and it's only going to get it's gonna get, into, get into single digits tonight. So I hope this video finds your needs totally uh, taken care of. I hope that your needs are fulfilled. I hope that you're happy and in a good place. I hope you know that you are loved, provided for, and needed. You are needed here. So check it out here. It's a general, so it's not going to resonate for everybody. It's only take the part that fits, but it's pre-shuffling here. One of these cards jumped out to me. <clears throat> So what I feel like is happening now is if you were in a situation here where somebody chose someone over you and you may have finally gotten over the, the rejection, the heartache and the pain, and now you're elevating in your life, you're finding new freedom, you're finding yourself, you're starting to love yourself, you're starting to look good again, okay? Uh, <clears throat> The person here who thought that the grass was greener on the other side here, somebody's realizing that it wasn't. They had everything they needed with you because whatever was happening over there in uh, uh, the Jones's yard here, uh, there, there's an upheaval. I'm getting kind of like a tower moment here. Something came apart because it really wasn't a solid foundation anyway. It says shock the unexpected trouble. See, somebody had a, a, a upheaval here. And, 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 and just like they do, this person is going to want to come crawling back to you because they're going to want a second chance here. Yeah, they're going to want a second chance. It says making amends, opportunities, plans. So somebody who, uh, <clears throat> see, now, now the thing about this is not only is this person trying to come back to you for a second chance, they are obsessing over you. Now, ain't that some shit? Now, they realized that the grass was, it, it's, on, it, it's giving me, you made your bed, why aren't you getting in it type of energy here. It says holding on, obsessed, and watching you. So they're watching you because they want to they wanna come back in and have a second chance with you because they thought that that big butt and that big smile or those big muscles and that fat ass bank account was everything that they could ever, ever want in a mate. Come to find out. It was smoke screens. It was not real. Those were just illusions. <clears throat> and now somebody has to deal with the, um, somebody has to deal with the, somebody going to try to come back in and apologize to you. Look at that. Return forgiveness gifts with some gifts. Consequences because they're receiving karma. See? Somebody, somebody, somebody getting their ass whipped so bad with karma that they're coming back to you. It says emotional whirlwind affected, dramatic, unstable. See, this person catching hell. So whoever did you wrong, <clears throat> let me take, y'all, let me take a sip of this tea. Hold on. Okay. So whoever this person was who you probably thought that they was God's gift to the world, you must have really wanted to be with this person here. You're going to find out that this person really is a weak person here. Now, I ain't saying people can't mess up. Yeah, people do. People mess up all the time. We ourselves do it too. Even if somebody, even if somebody did you wrong and they're coming back to you, I'm just telling you, but <clears throat> somebody's receiving their karma here. Okay. So the message for somebody is you don't have to, you don't have to uh, catch revenge. You don't have to do no nothing. What goes around comes around. Somebody's receiving their own karma in a way that even you could not have uh, touched them. They have to feel this. Somebody's going to come back to you and apologize to you because they realize that they did you wrong. Somebody's coming back to you collective on their freaking hands and knees begging for your forgiveness because somebody realizes that you were their rock, you were their foundation, and that they had lost their M and F in mind. And all they want to do is prove to them that they can show you love and that they can be the person that you want them to be. That's for somebody. Now, I know somebody probably saying, y'all don't want to hear that shit, but I'm just telling you here. Somebody thought the grass was greener on the other guy dang side and they effed up. But please believe they're receiving karma because they don't have you. They ain't got shit. And the person who they thought was all of that ended up not being nowhere near even uh, 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 <laughs> anywhere near comparison 
to you. So imagine what an idiot your person feels like once they realize they had the best thing the whole time and now the best thing don't want them no more because the best thing may be moving on, living their best life here. All right? So that's what I'm getting for somebody. <laughs> Ooh, them consequences. There's consequences to everything. You got to be careful. You think you're sitting on top of the world, but shit can happen here. Look at here. See, <clears throat> somebody is looking at you. Go ahead on and live your life, queen of wands. For some of you guys, you got a lot of abundance around you, or you are the one that's abundant. Once again, it says um, clinging holding on, obsessing, and watching. And this is what they're doing with the devil. The devil got titties on it. <laughs> they're well, they're well defined. <laughs> There's no mistaking. <laughs> Somebody could be a Capricorn in here. Somebody could be a Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries here. But then somebody in love, though, see, they go to King of Cups. They all in their feelings. And you know they all in their feelings, honey, because it says emotional whirlwind. See, these cards telling you what it is on the snowy day. It says affected, dramatic, uh, unstable. This person is emotional. This person is on an emotional roller coaster. This person's on an emotional roller coaster ride. Now they're stalking you because whatever they thought was all of that over there end up not being nothing. So somebody is trying to come back and apologize. And I feel like it's going to be sincere because you got the King of Cups. All right? That's what I feel. So let's see what else for the collective. What else we'll see? Because they go to Seven of Swords here. See? <laughs> Somebody may be trying to sneak away from that other situation. Oh, yeah, you know, over there where they thought the grass was greener over there, they realized that they're going to have to run for their life. <laughs> So they could be with somebody who, who likes to get physical. See, you may have been emotional. You may have tried to work things out with this person, understanding, you know what I'm saying? And it may have hurt you, but you chose to maybe just disconnect and walk away. I feel like the other person that they deal with, if they're trying to play those same mind games with them, somebody can get very, very physical and somebody had to make a run for it, all right? <laughs> Now they get it. They get it that if you got something real at home, then you better be trying to run to it. And that's why they trying to come back. Ooh, we see. Three of swords in the reverse. See how, see, you see how it goes around, come around, see? Three of swords in the reverse here, followed by the moon. Somebody's secrets came out. Somebody's secrets came out. I feel like whatever they put you through, they're going through it too. And this is why they won't back in. So let me clarify these here. See, because, you know, folk, folk, folks don't believe a uh, fat meat greasy until they sucking on it they self, okay? <laughs> Somebody could be a, a, a Libra or a Taurus here. Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius here. You got the Capricorn, you got that old six. So you got you, somebody, see, somebody realized, I feel like that they had the right one the whole time. Now, it could very well be that somebody was dealing with a queen of wands, but they end up trying to run back to their empress here. It could be multiple people here that somebody was in the middle of, but clearly somebody is realizing who they in love with, that they want something real with. And like I say, you may feel like, boy, please, if you don't move, What's up with this Queen of Wands energy for the collective? And like I say, for some of you guys, you may have really elevated. You may have, what this person did to you may have been the energy that you needed to get off your shit and work your shit and go ahead on and get it popping. See, could be a Leo, but I feel like somebody here done found their power back, their strength back now. There's nothing stopping them. It's like they are a force to be reckoned with here, see? And as a result, somebody's getting a lot of recognition and a lot of attention for a job well done. You see, that's usually, that's usually how you get over uh, uh, somebody that did you wrong, honey. What they say, the best revenge is success. So somebody here is best revenge, and you, you probably ain't even doing it to them personally. You're just doing it to make, it, make your life right for yourself. And little do you know, you are touching your hater's soul. <laughs> Ooh, that Queen of Wands got that Six of Wands. Why? Because the Queen of Wands walks away when she knows 
her worth. And there it is again. See? So somebody here really is somebody very, very special here. And kudos to you, goddess, that you know your worth, whether you are a masculine. Because check it out, masculine. We're looking at different times now. Masculines are really being uh, abused now. Yeah, they're being emotionally, uh, physically, verbally. <laughs> you get you a toxic ass feminine. I mean, what you think they're going to put the men through? So I, I understand that it's, 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 it goes both ways here. Both parties need to be emotionally balanced. But for some of you guys, whoever you are collective, you're walking away from your emotions here because I'm sure you were the glue that held something together here. And now you, <clears throat> excuse me, you're in this queen of wands energy attracting other relationships. See, I feel like this is what you're going to do. You're just going to attract the real connection. Could be somebody who you ain't talked to that's going to want to try to pop up because you got second chance. <laughs> Why is this devil here? You remember you got the second chance. This person's life is in an upheaval. Somebody's coming back for a second chance. You got the Ten of Pentacles on top of that. What's up with the second chance here? <clears throat> Somebody could be looking at you like, ooh, Ace of Wands. Now, this second chance could be just saying that you collective got a second chance. Not that you got to be with somebody from your past, baby. Because you got the uh, fake card. See? Something has changed. Your luck is changing then. You ain't going to have to deal with grimy ass energy anymore. Seven of Swords, I feel like that. Or somebody could be coming to you saying that they don't want to play those games with you no more. They've learned their lesson. Could be that too. What's up with the devil here? Why is this Capricorn energy? This so uh, aggressive, uh, codependent, um, kind of toxic, low vibrational, obsessive energy. Because somebody is definitely, it says clingy. It says holding on, obsessing, and watching. What's up with this devil energy for the collective? What's going on with this person here? Now that the grass, now that they realize that, <laughs> that the grass wasn't green over there, so now they got the nerve in and the dash to try to run back to somebody and try to harass them. That's, that don't seem right. <laughs> Pardon me, but it don't seem right. I mean, goddamn, that ain't fair. Because for all you know, you're trying to run back to somebody who you should have treated right the first time. And you may be running into something that's already in, in, in the making here. Because it seems like the Empress already got something surrounding her. You think this going to be alone for long? I'm just saying, what, is, what does this speak to you? What does this picture say to you? All right, then you think this Empress going to be long for long? Hell no, not when she exuberated all of her self-control and all her self-worth. She gonna hurry up and snap another one up or somebody's gonna hurry up and, but see, they're coming in with a whole commitment here. So see, this empress <clears throat> is attracting grown energy. You could have already attracted this because maybe somebody here did not want to admit the fact that they were running away from their emotions too. Ooh, the devil. Why is the devil here? <laughs> I tell you, this person is all over themselves because of you, whatever you done did to them. But I also feel like it's almost like somebody's karma, like it says, because somebody may have chose somebody else who they thought they had the baddest chick or the baddest dude around and come to find out they already had what they, they already had the best. See, ooh, wee. So I see why this person feels like they can come back to you and that they feel like you guys possibly could have a second chance because there's a lot of chemistry between the two of you. Now, there go the king of wands. So whoever this person is, oh, they know your spot. Don't get it twisted now. Y'all got down like that. But I feel like somebody messed up when they chose somebody else. So it's now, now it's like they're, they're starting to remember all of the beautiful things that attracted them to you in the first place. But some of y'all like, uh-uh, once I realized you chose me for somebody else, you done lost that. <laughs> so, you, so you mean to tell me the whole time you chose somebody else over me, you all been all over there doing couple stuff, and who, 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 who was here with me? So, so now you, you wore out because you've been dogged, and now you come back for me for me to, hit, to, for me to lick your wounds and things? That's what I'm getting. Somebody said, can't nobody do them like you. Yes, yeah, somebody got a lot of nerve and the audacity. Somebody say, but can't nobody do it like you. But it took them losing you before they realized that usually that's how it is. When somebody is feeling themselves. See there? I told you. See there? 
three of cups. Then I tell you this person's still feeling themselves, though. But I feel like you, oh, but they're going to try to come back in here and make it right with you, though, Libra energy. Because I don't care how, all that shit they talking here. I feel like somebody here does want to have a new opportunity with you here. Could have been somebody here who was single and just doing their own thing. Somebody here who was emotionally unavailable, but they messed around and caught feelings for you because you're different than the rest. What's up with this seven of swords here for the collector? See there? Because you got the king of cups. I feel like <laughs> somebody's real. somebody had to get their ass whooped uh, uh, karmically in order for them to realize that you have to be mindful because you don't always have an opportunity. Because with this eight, ten of pentacles, ace of wands, and the wheel of fortune, somebody was so caught up in their own selfish ways that they did not even consider that they had everything that they could possibly ever want or imagine in their life right in the palm of their hands, but they messed it up, all right? And, and, and now, because they were nasty towards an empress when they should not have been, they should have been humbled, then things may have not been so bad, but everybody got to learn their lessons. And the only way you're going to learn your lessons is to go through this type of shit. So the Seven of Swords, what's up with the Seven of Swords, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius? The chariot, like I tell you, I feel like this person's trying to get the heck away from somebody else. Somebody may be traveling in a U-Haul with all their shit packed in the back of their truck. <laughs> Oh, somebody say somebody that ran their asses out the house and they couldn't do no more. Pack up in their U-Haul and grab all that shit when old girl went to work. <laughs> now they riding around the world in their U-Haul, don't know what to do because that's who they chose. <laughs> But if they would have chose or st stuck with the collective here, then they would have had paradise, god dang it. I said they would have had paradise, yes. Could be a cancer here. What's up with the seven of swords? That's what it is, see? But I feel like somebody here has not learned their lessons here with this world card in the reverse. This is why they're going through this karma now. It's because somebody may somebody somebody was too busy chasing shit that they didn't know that they had uh royalty okay they had otherworldly dimensional type of favors bestowed on them because of you you know sometimes people are gifted or blessed because they're with you because you're the one that brings all the divine gifts with you so uh, as a result the people in the vicinity become blessed by association where they did not know that they were going to be blessed by association because you could have helped them level up because the empress need an emperor all right so now they sucking in all of their misery heartache and pain see that three of swords because the very games that they played because it is their karma they got to feel this shit too just like they made this empress feel it if they made a freaking empress especially an empress say a mother a mother she think she been giving herself to this man and you know he's selling her dreams and you know he really probably knew that she was too good for him but 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 instead of him uh treating her like a divine gift that she was because he didn't know any better and because he had to learn his lessons he mishandled a precious gift and now he's suffering now what's up with this empress here what's up with this empress now if you got the empress here twice i know that it is about the feminine energy yes it is it's about these masculines here shitting on these feminines and forgetting where the hell they came from and who they are for them now like i said here i know that the ratio is more in the favor of the men because it's way much more women available than it are a man Seems like this, the ratio just off because of so many different uh, dynamics that we all know, if you know. But you don't meet this every once in a while, especially in this lifetime. You're going to meet so many uh, copies. See? Oh, shit. The Empress, out of all that shuffling, that King of Cups came on back out. See there? See there, y'all? That's what these masks, these masks, you know what's going to happen. You know what is happening? Because these masculines don't know uh, something good from something not good anywhere because they've lost their focus because they're too carnal minded. It's the reason why these masculines continue to repeat these same uh, toxic cycles where they're prolonging their happiness and they're also uh, causing unhappiness in their divine feminines here. And I, this is not a divine feminine or divine masculine reading, but this is the energy that is um, the most prevalent. You got the uh, Empress twice. So it's all about these men not really knowing how to open up emotionally here. Uh, it seems like they don't open up emotionally to the one that's going to give them the most nourishment to their soul. Because what you think this empress going to do with this king of cups? She's going to love the shit out of him. 
but they tend to go over there and still need other people to validate them, even though they know that they got everything with this one person. So it's not about the women that they meet. It's about the masculine's decisions in uh, learning from their lessons here. But somebody is in love. There, there's no question. They're in love with you. But like I said, somebody had to go through all this toxic karmic ass energy in order for them to realize that they've been in love with the one who deserved better out of them the whole freaking time. But they're not saying anything because they're still going through. A lot of these masculines are prideful. It's like when, when their life is turned upside down, they start being angry instead of changing here. So some of these masculines could also be low key or your person here could be low key, you know, blaming you because you, you ain't with them and you going on looking good and doing good for your life. And you ain't stuck under their asses no more. <laughs> In fact, <laughs> Don't you know that when he chose that other person, that other person was wishing that she was you and single? Yes, because really behind the scenes, it wasn't all of that. Somebody realized it wasn't all that either, but somebody had gotten so far in. See, five of cups. Somebody is in love and they're not realizing how much you meant to them to after they don't have you anymore. That's what's going on. See, and now somebody is questioning themselves. They're not feeling good. Not only are, are they going through their karma, if they was boastful and arrogant and all about the money, now they're struggling financially. So it's like they're going to have a lot of regret here. See, they was they was chasing after those images. King of Pentacles in the reverse. See, that's their problem because they were too prideful and materialistic and they didn't really have no substance. And then when they had a real, a real one to come in their life and they had the nerve to try to walk on it, hell yeah, you're going to be stripped down to your bare soul, baby. That's the only way you're going to learn your lesson. And now it don't feel good now that you in love and want somebody to love, but you didn't show them love. You treated them bad. So now they don't have to be with you if they don't want to because the Empress is going to get everything that's coming to her. Her, just like she loved on you and build you up she's gonna get the right one for her too all right the king of cups all right this last card like i say this person they in love but they're having to let learn these hard i ain't gonna even say hard i feel like we as people in our human form we say what is hard because you know what they say can you stand the rain Storms will come, this we know for sure, but can you stand the rain? Everybody loves it when everything is absolutely amazing, but as soon as the clouds come in and the storms come in the relationship, then you're going to realize that maybe this ain't what you want. Maybe it ain't worth you fighting for. I feel like somebody is realizing a lot of things. Somebody's really feeling somebody's really feeling uh, the sting of their their actions. Uh, somebody's receiving karma in the worst way. And the worst way to receive karma is to have somebody here who tried to love you, but you rejected it. And now you feel that the same love for them that they once felt for you, but it's not re being reciprocated like they didn't do you because somebody chose somebody else. They thought the grass was greener, honey. But when it came apart, though, that King of Cups here, see, death could be another, could be a Scorpio. I feel like this person, the end is something over there. See, I feel like this is what's happening. See, Ten of Swords, see there? <laughs> Somebody probably was dealing with somebody here who here was a, just a little bit more ratchet than they was. And I feel like somebody had to make an escape. And I feel like they're t that for somebody, somebody was scared straight. OK, somebody, somebody end up getting something that changed their perception on pursuing these relationships. When you know that you got shit to hide here because everybody ain't going to play them games because I feel like somebody's real demon came out. Uh, yeah, over there where they thought the grass was green. Oh, yeah, they realized that there was devils that lived over there. Now they're trying to get on back over here to the angelical world. Uh, but the angelical world may be closed. But you do have a very beautiful, committed relationship. I feel like it's going to be something that's pure and innocent with no pressure. Something that you can relax and let it grow on its own. This is the real love that's coming your way. All right, Collective, this is your general love reading. So if it resonates, please like, share, and subscribe. Bye.